Hi there. And yes, this ball cut is real. People ask me questions if this is a wig. No, this is not a wig, it's real. As real as those glasses. So, like for the ball cut, subscribe for the glasses. Anyway, to the news. Yesterday, Nikita went on Reddit and he started answering questions under different posts, like it's his full-time job. And there are plenty of new information we learned. Well, maybe not plenty, but some of it is definitely new. And to make my life a bit harder, he came back today and started answering the questions again. So there is more answers and he keeps answering. The last answer was three minutes ago while I'm recording this video. So maybe there's going to be a second part to this video tomorrow or something. Anyway, what I plan to do, I'll go through all the comments that Nikita posted on Reddit. I will outline the most interesting ones so you don't have to wait and uh, wait. So you don't have to spend your time and read 200 comments yourself. I will outline the most interesting ones for you. So stay tuned. One of the guys mentioned different uh, possible changes to the anti-cheat and the system. I'm not uh, too involved in that. Something to do with Amazon servers, something to do with different techniques, uh, coding, blah, 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 blah. And Nikita said, thanks for the info, passed it further already. So this information has been passed. So the guy is asking how to determine the difference between RMT and boosting and just dropping your friend a gear set. Nikita says if you drop your friend a kit, it's okay. If you drop your friend a good kit, that's okay. But if you did it 10 times, that's considered as boosting. The guy says the tasks are very, very grindy. The game becoming more and more grindy. Uh, AI is becoming more grindy. And Nikita says uh, there is a fact that we did a lot of changes lately to decrease the grinding. And one of those changes is the fact that right now you do not need capturing outposts for kappa if you do try to get the kappa container and secondly you need only eight kills instead of 12 for the capturing outpost which is a good change i appreciate that somebody wrote a question about really difficult items spawning on laps and it's really impossible to get them because of the cheaters and nikita says most of the items are craftable outside of labs and the guy says gps far forward device is laps only is it not and nikita says the idea is to have it only from lightkeeper and it spawns on other maps with really low chance how come they still allow streamers to have people banned based on the flawed evidence, especially after Rengar fiasco? The trade community anti-cheat should never have been allowed to exist in the first place. That was a mistake done in Rush, won't happen again. Trey is a good guy, do not blame him. I agree that we shouldn't blame Trey, because his intentions were clearly good. And if you want me to cover that topic in more detail, let me know down in the comments below. Regarding monitoring cheaters and the players, Nikita says that they do monitor all of the players, how they play, which items they find, what they sell. Everything is being stored uh, and all of this is being added in the system. It's not fast enough, but they're gonna make it faster. I know it's probably a major thing to try to add, but this, are there any plans to, for a post-raid replay system for players? The thing is this feature will break immersion and it will allow your teammates to get the info from you, how you were killed. I understand that this will give players needed information to confirm accusations, but it could be used sideways. I do not agree with this point, to be honest, I think it's not gonna break the immersion. And secondly, you can release the replay system after the raid is completely done and every single player, Skaven player, has already extracted, so nobody gets any additional information. The raid is fully done, the server shuts down, only then you get the information. You said yourself you don't play the game, so how can you comment on people's experiences? I never said that I don't play the game, I play the game, I struggle, I make changes to feel less pain, I'm on your side. So there was a moment when Nikita said that he never plays Escape from Tarkov because he wants the game to be completely finished. But uh, I'm not sure if it was more of a joke or of troll. As like I'm pretty sure that Nikita did play the game. He did test different mechanics and uh, like done done different things. So there is a confirmation that Nikita does play the game. Modelers don't fix codes; they don't code. That's a good point. You can't really make people that make the design of weapons, etc., etc fix uh, cheating, fix other problems, they do their job. Mm. So I covered the point that you can get the information about the raid replay com after the raid is completely done and the guy said the same thing. Uh, so that information can be used as an advantage just purely from an entertainment perspective. Believe it or not, it's planned. I am not entirely sure because mm. I feel like this point contradicts this one. Mm. I'm, I'm, I'm really... Mm. Maybe not the maybe maybe he means not the replay, but he means like some kind of review of the raid, like some some kind of statistics. I'm not sure about this one. Well, it seems like a lot of players are cheaters, so is that really such a bad thing? It's not that 60%. 
If 60% is not the number, what is it? What does your data suggest? I will be able to tell after, before, after analysis. So I think a lot of people misunderstood Goat's video, or maybe I misunderstood what he said, but he said that there is uh, at least one cheater in 60% of the raids. That doesn't make 60% of the player base cheaters. It makes, it makes around 4% from statistics. So from Goat's numbers, around five, uh, four to five uh, percent of people are cheating. And uh, I'm not sure if Nikita is going to confirm or uh, let it go. So this guy is actually an aspect of player count dropping uh, and people are abandoning the project. And Nikita says relax, online numbers are the same. You know what, uh, since we can't get the numbers from Nikita or BSG doesn't post any uh, statistics regarding how many people play the game, I'm going to make a post on my YouTube channel, uh, go and uh, vote. I think I'll make three options. One option, you still play the game. Two, um, you've quit the game after the video, you don't know for how long. And three, you've quit the game after, well, the video, the GOATS video, um, for, for a while. So, vote. Thank you for one of the most interesting games I've ever played, but you let things get this bad without talking to the community, people end up making conspiracy theories if you stay silent. Doesn't feel like you have any community managers. Partially, I agree. So this guy talked about uh, found and raid restrictions, and he says that found and raid restrictions should stay only to the quest-related items and dailies, and uh, found and raid restrictions should be removed for armors, guns, and ammo, as right now, that will lead to a healthier economy. And Nikita said that he noted the suggestion down. This guy talked a lot about Kiba and interchange, and Nikita said that Ledex spawn will be boosted, as well as POI places loot. So Ledex spawn uh, boost on interchange confirmed? Do you have a long-term plan to deal with the cheat providers? Yes, we want to start to pursue them legally. This is a big thing if they actually start doing this. Uh, I think that might lead to a really great change. So the sooner that it happens, the better. Why exactly have you not implemented 2FA, to factor authentication? It is implemented in Asia region, most likely will be added everywhere. A little short fun story. I tried playing Tarkov with VPN for the memes to see what kind of ping I get. I connected to every single server possible with the VPN. And then Tarkov said, your activity is very sus. And it forced me to enter my phone number. And then BSG sent me a confirmation through a message to my phone number. And then I had to confirm that I am not a bot. Online varies from 70k to 120k lately. So there are the numbers regarding the game. 70,000 concurrent players to 120. There we go. BG do plan to prepare a roadmap and Nikita will answer questions. Nikita also states that SPT, which is single player Tarkov, is uh, uh, bannable and it's totally illegal product that is done without their permission. This is a really good point which I have been covering for the past three four years that uh, movement penalties on the gear do not make any sense. For example, with one armor, your sensitivity is like this. With another armor, your sensitivity is like this. And uh, Nikita says that it will be removed. And for now, it's lowered by two times. I'm really happy that finally my point managed to go through, even though it's not my comment that made it. Recoil will be reworked. Interested to see that. Will there be any further dev time focus on reducing the loading time to get into the raid? Yes. Will shoulder swapping your weapon ever be implemented? Yes. Wipes are needed. There will be initial first map available only for those who are below level 10. So if you're below level 10, there will be a possibility to play a PvE only map, I guess. Mantling animation? Yes. Would you consider that people can't aim down any sites while using NVGs? Yes. Arena when? ASAP. So the guy asks, what's the percentage of people getting banned compared to the usual player base? And Nikita says he doesn't have the number, but it's probably something around like half of the percent or lower, half of the percent of the player base. So boss's spawn chance was increased today, I guess for all the bosses. And Nikita says that lab key cards are rare and they're supposed to stay rare. Can you explain how often the flea market suspicious offer reports have been reviewed? Uh, Nikita says right now they've been reviewed constantly, so I guess I should report more offers on the flea market. All these people that are level 20 white name selling 50 Ladexes with zero rep should be should be banned. Yeah. How's the progress on loadout presets for gear and stuff we bring into the raid? Is it even in the progress yet? It is planned and ready to be worked on. Alright, I think we're gonna wrap up on this one. This video is already getting pretty long. I will probably look through Nikita's answers today once again, and if there is anything interesting, I'm going to release a second part tomorrow. 
And once again, thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned something new and I will see you in the next one.